Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. Today's video is going to be a good old fashioned tutorial and I am creating this glowy makeup look. I have really been into that more fresh glowy looking skin lately, so if you have too and want to see how I created this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to start out using a few primers. First up, you guessed it, is my L'Oreal Infallible Anti Redness Primer. As you can see, I do have a few breakouts along my chin here. I'm a little red overall, so I do want to even out my skin tone and start nice and fresh. I've also prepped my skin this morning by cleansing it, applying a serum and a moisturizer. Just making sure your skin is nice and juicy before you start a glowy makeup look is always a good idea. Also applying your SPF, don't forget that. Now that my skin tone is neutralized, I'm going to go in with a glowy primer. And today I'm going to be using the MAC Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light. Now you don't have to use something high end. A few of my drugstore favorites are the L'Oreal Glow Cherie Natural Glow Enhancer. And this one by NYX is actually quite similar to the MAC Strobe Cream. It's just a little thicker in consistency and it's the NYX Away We Glow Strobing Cream in the shade Bright Star. Now I'm going to focus this on my cheeks and then just put a little bit on my forehead and chin. And I'm using this Morphe E45 brush to blend it out. Just look at that already. It leaves such a beautiful pearlescent glow and it's really lightweight on the skin. So it's not going to feel like you've got these heavy layers on under your foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match in the shade 0.5N Porcelain. This is a really beautiful, lightweight foundation. It has a medium to high coverage and leaves a really nice satin finish. Ooh. Hello. So when I apply foundation, I like to go in with a concealer brush and put it all over my face and then go in with my sponge or my kabuki brush. Today I'll be using the new Sigma F80 Air Flat Kabuki Brush. I was sent the Complexion Airbrush Set which contains three new brushes to feature in a video. And I thought that this glowy tutorial would be perfect because they are a duo fibers. So they're designed to be used with creams and liquids and give more of that medium buildable coverage. If you take a look at the difference between the regular F80 Kabuki brush, you can see that the bristles are a lot more dense. Therefore, they're going to give you that fuller coverage. Whereas these ones being a duo fiber are made to give you more of that medium coverage. So I'm going to go in with stippling or padding motions to blend this out. I prefer doing this rather than buffing because I just find it leaves a nicer finish on my skin and sometimes buffing can really irritate my skin. For concealer, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. This one leaves a high coverage and a beautiful satin finish. So I have let the concealer just sit under my eye for about a minute. I had a subscriber suggest this to me and I have seen a few people do it on YouTube. I found that the coverage isn't as full, so letting it sit for just a minute definitely helps with that and I could see a difference. I am filming a full review on this e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer, so it will be up on my channel very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Now I'm not going to powder right away because I'm still going to be going in with some cream products. Starting with a bronzer, I'll be using my Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. To apply this, I'm going to be using the Sigma F74 Air Domed Buffer Brush. Okay, that is applying absolutely beautifully. Not picking up any product and blending out very easily. Mmm, okay, so I've just dipped it into my cream product and because it is pointed, I'm using that first to go into the hollows of my cheeks 
and then just pressing the brush flat against my cheeks to blend and I'm just using patting motions to blend that out. I'm not rubbing it on the skin at all. Okay, that is beautiful. I usually use this Real Techniques brush to apply my cream bronzer. This one here, it is the sculpting brush, which is really good. I like that it's on an angle there, but it is quite dense. So it does apply the product rather heavily. I do have to go in with a really light hand, but this I'm finding I don't have to be too careful. It's not applying the product too heavily and it's blending really easily. I'm also going to go in with a little bit around my hairline. For blush, I'm also going to be using a Fenty product. This is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in the shade Strawberry Drip. I actually have a full review on both these products, which I will link down below. And do you know what's really weird? I think I was wearing the same jumper and my hair was also straight in that video. Weird. But anyway, if you're after a more affordable cream blush option, I do really love the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs or my absolute favorite, this is the Savvy Cheek and Lip Tint. This is only a few dollars from Priceline and it does an amazing job. To apply the blush, I'm going to be using the F53 Air Contour Blush Brush. As you can see, this one is slightly cut on that bit of an angle, so it does fit into the contours of your face really nicely. Same when applying blush, and it is very, very fluffy, so I think this is going to be perfect for blush. That has applied the most beautiful light layer of blush. I was a little bit iffy with this Fenty blush. I just thought it wasn't really worth the price tag. But seeing how this brush applies it. Mmm. Mmm. This got me thinking. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder and I'll be using my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil. This has a beautiful satin finish, so it's going to go so well with this glowy look. I'm just going to take my sponge and tap out any creasing under my eyes. Then in with a tiny powder brush, I'm going to lightly tap this in the areas that I need it. So for me, it's under my eyes and to the side of my eye here, where I get a bit of creasing just from talking, laughing and smiling. Down my nose, a little bit on my forehead here, and my chin. Next for highlighter, I'm going to be going in with a cream and I'll be using this Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Lit From Within Illuminating Balm. Now this you can only get here in Australia, but if you can get your hands on it, oh my God, it is the most beautiful balm. Like it's not like your regular liquid highlighter. It just leaves the most glossy, wet look to the skin. It is freaking amazing. Some other options I really love are the Savvy Cheek Duo. Up the top here, we've got a cream highlighter. This is in the shade Rose and Shine. And then another one I love is by Flower Beauty, and it is the Highlighting Chubby in the shade Pearl Shimmer. For the balm though, I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques setting brush. It is designed for powder, but because it's synthetic, it can be used for creams and liquids. So I'm just going to lightly tap that in here and then tap on the cheekbones. Look at that. You see what I mean? How it just looks so glossy. It looks a little bit pink in the jar but it doesn't really have a color on your face. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I don't even mind bringing it down over the top of my bronzer and my blush a little bit, just to give that real glowy look. Oh my God. Amazing. I'm just going to do my brows and then I'll quickly be back to do a nice simple eye look. Okay, so I've just primed my eyelids with some concealer and powder. I'm not going to zoom in too close because, oh my god, my brows are hideous. But I'm going to be going in with the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie palette. 
I'm not too sure if this is still available, so sorry if it isn't, but I'm going to be going into this cool tone brown and then topping it off with this beautiful shimmer. I do want this look to be a little bit more on the natural looking side. So for mascara, I'm going to go in with a brown mascara. This is the Paradise Ecstatic by L'Oreal. This is a really beautiful brown mascara. It's not like black brown. It's, it's completely like chocolate brown. Really nice. For lips, I've just lined with a pink liner and then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipstick in the shade 658. And lastly, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Shake and Glow Luminous Setting Spray. This is going to set everything in place but also make sure it is nice and glowy. All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. I am absolutely loving more glowy looks lately. I feel like even though I've got quite a good coverage, my skin still looks quite natural and I've got that nice glow to my cheeks. By powdering in the center of my face, it's going to keep those areas looking good for hours. So I know this makeup is going to last. Let's just do a quick close up, shall we? All right, well, if you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to check out those Sigma brushes, I will have them linked down below. And don't forget to use my code Tanika for 10% off. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.